So here in this box is a Lucky Miner LV07 ASIC miner, meant for mining on the SHA-256 algorithm, which includes stuff like Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. And this little miner here will give about one terahash worth of hashing power. Now, a miner like this is not like one of the higher-end commercial units, like from Bitmain or others, that may be tens of terahashes per second. This is more of just a little unit that, yes, you could do pool mining and stuff with, but this is particularly meant as a solo or lottery miner, as it's also called. So let's go ahead and get the box open on this. So it comes in a little magnetic flap. A little cover. And get a little manual with it, LV07. And there's our little device right there. Complete with the model and power requirements and everything that it comes with. So that's pretty much what it is. And again, as I say, this is primarily really meant to be a lottery or solo miner because with one terahash of processing power for the SHA-256 algorithm, you're not going to get a whole big payout if you try to use it for pool mining or anything like that where you share your hashing power because, again, you're competing with everybody else for the rewards that you get. But with something like this, if you do solo or lottery mining with it, say, for instance, you're trying to solo mine Bitcoin, if you manage to get a block of Bitcoin solved with this, then you'll earn, right at this moment, 3.125 Bitcoins, which is equivalent to about $300,000, give or take, depending on the price of Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and lug this in. So it comes with a 12 volt, 5 amp power adapter, 12 volt output, and the power cable, and that's pretty much the box. So we'll get our cable out here get it powered on and then we'll get into the setup portion of getting this thing set up on a mining pool of some sort and then get it mining so, let's see find an IEC connector and a plug up here on the workbench see it lights up green so we got power and then we just Plug into the power jack on the back. And there it boots up. So it's got a configuration SSID, that's the Wi Fi name that we need to connect to to configure this because right now it's not configured with anything on there, it's just kind of set at its default settings. So I'm going to pull my iPad out and we're going to look at the web configuration for this and get this set up on some mining. So I've got the miner set up and so we're going to go ahead on the iPad here and remove our settings and we're going to look for its Wi-Fi address. So it should be transmitting as lucky underscore something something so let me see if I can get to come back here. Okay, we're connected to it. It's going to say there's no internet access. And here should be our configuration window. I have to use Safari for this if it doesn't come up. Okay, there we go. So it's obviously not doing any work right now because there is no information supplied on it. Okay, the settings. So, we're going to first change this to our Wi-Fi SSD that I'm using here. So this is just going to connect here. Password. And I am going to use the ckpool.org solo mining that's already pre-configured on there. Straight on the port. I'm going to put my Bitcoin address in here for the Stratum user. Paste. And then I'm going to put point zero because CK pool needs the point zero there to identify the worker name. So I'll just put point 
zero. The frequency and core voltage are okay. Those are the maximums that it's set for. The strat and password, I'm just going to leave at X. So I'm going to save. And then I'm going to restart. And you can see the screen has flashed on the monitor. I've lost it on the iPad here. So now it should be connecting up to my Wi-Fi, and then it should start mining on the CK pool network there. Doing so mining in the fan is automatically slowing down because of the automatic fan control. So let's see, has this gone back to get yeah, this has gone back to Netgear? And we need to see what IP address it's using. Looks like 192.168.1.40. I'm going to go into Safari. I'm going to put that in at the top there. And there we go. It's showing some mining activity. So it's mining at about 1.3 terahashes at the moment. We can see our current power consumption is about 27, probably 28 watts. Again, our ASIC temperature is warming up there since it's starting to do some actual work now. And we can see a chart. It's probably going to lower down to about one terahash per second once it starts going through the shares. We can see the last one that this solved was 4.29 gigahashes in difficulty. And you hear the fan just speed up a little bit there as the ASIC temperature continues to rise. Here we can check our settings while it's on the network. So as I say, right now it is currently solo mining Bitcoin through the CK pool, uh, mining pool there. So it's not going to get any payout by sharing its terahash capabilities with any other workers out there. On a shared mining pool, this is exclusively doing solo mining, so this is trying to solve a Bitcoin block on its own so that we get that max 3.125 Bitcoin payout. There's other ones I could use it for, like Bitcoin Cash or anything like that I could configure it with, but right now that's what I've got it set for. And we can see the status also on the display of the miner itself versus what I've got. And you can see we've got kind of a dip just happened on our hash rate there as the number of shares just changed. So now it's starting to equalize out the hash rate there. So that's pretty much how you unbox and set up one of these LV07 Lucky Miners. Hey guys, Brian here. Do me a favor and click that like button down below and while you're at it go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content when I post it. See you guys in the next one.